Hi, uh, Shadow Checker here. Today I'm doing a video on staff notation, and this is actually introduction to staff notation. So this video is meant uh, to beginners uh, who wants to learn uh, reading music. Uh, even though it's for beginners, I hope uh, even uh, semi-advanced or advanced players would also get some benefits out of this. Now, when I say reading, um, uh, I'm sure many of you <laughs> already thinking like, ah, reading, I don't need it. I can already play my instruments and, you know, especially guitar players. I can read tabs, tabs is enough, you know, I don't need to read stuff. It's a waste of time, this and that. But let me tell you guys, um, reading music is equally important as, you know, being able to play your instrument. Um, music is a... Uh, language so you know if you know the language we can read and write you know the communication would be way easier you know so I highly recommend to put some time and effort on reading as well there is even a joke you know uh, for for guitar players you know uh, because guitar players usually um, tend to a little bit show off and uh, make noise all the time and you know noodling around and and the joke is how to make a guitar player quiet and the answer is put a notation paper in front of him or her then he would be quiet you know like uh, yeah but now it's time uh, time to prove them wrong you know yeah we guitar players um, we make noise we kind of sh show off a little bit you know? but uh, we know our stuff you know music and uh, auditions you know I mean uh, if you put this in front of me then no problem I can deal with this you know like, <laughs> You know, so, so mm, yeah. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not here to you know argue about how important it is or you know whether you should do it or not. You can decide, you know, <laughs> what you want to do. But like I said, I still highly recommend. So you know, uh, let's get into the mm, lesson because this is the lesson video. Okay, so staff notation is basically it's a bunch of lines. Okay, there are five lines one, two, three, four, five lines. Five lines goes and continues. Uh, like I showed you before in this paper as well. Uh, it's line and space between the lines. And each line has name, their name, and each space has, uh, has its name. But before going uh, to the name, you know, in these lines in front, in front of, uh, in the first um, uh, part, you will, you will see a, a signs like, you know, these kind of, uh, this kind of sign. And uh, sometimes you would also see uh, something like this. And these two. Well, these are two cliffs. This is treble cliff uh, and this is bass cliff. Normal instrument um, uh, are written in this treble cliff and bass in instruments are written in this cliff for example bass guitar trombone and other stuffs and um, and piano and guitar uh, saxophones are written in treble cliff well saxophone um, it has different keys like different saxophone written in b flat and e flat as well but we don't go there but anyway uh, this is this is the concert concert key concert key means uh, uh, Triple, triple cliff. Let's stick to the triple cliff. Let's not even go for a concert key and stuff. This, let's keep this simple. This is a basic introduction. So just remember, if you see this sign, this is a triple cliff and this is a bass cliff, right? So that's the that's the main important thing. Uh, we deal with the bass cliff later. So let's uh, move this as for now. Uh, let's stick to uh, treble cliff. So yeah, I was talking about the names. Now you know treble cliff and bass cliff. Now let's uh, let's find out their names. So all the lines. Let me remove this as well. So these five lines has different names. Uh, the first line it's uh, E. First line is E. Second line is G, third B, D, F. So E, G, B, D, F, all right? And uh, 
there is actually a sentence or a small formula to remember this uh, E that every good boy does fine. So if you, if you can remember every good boy does fine. So initials. So every good boy does fine. So now whenever you see first line that's note E, whenever you see second line um, you, it's G, whenever you see uh, third line it's B and so on. Uh, and then about, this, uh, about the space between the lines. So the first uh, space is F, A, C, B, face face right so it's easy to remember all the lines are every good boy that's fine e g b d f and the space is f a c e and uh, if you want to go up and lower like this is the this is the highest note as as for now f and if you want to go up then there is a space so so after after this line f there will be space and after space there will be again line so it's all about adding lines but now we don't write the long lines we just write these uh, small lines like just like this so we just add we just add lines like this and they become notes and same with the this one if you want to go down this line already and we just go down and we just write small uh, lines not the longer lines like this and same as this mm, this would be d this would be C, the space would be D, this line would be C. And why it's D, C is because, um, let me remind you another thing from my other videos, that is, uh, where that in the video I told that music starts from C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and higher C. Or some people uh, might would understand, might understand like, if I say sa re ga ma pa ta ni sa or do re mi fa so la di do or c d e f g a b right so this is this is basically like even we add the lines and space this is basically like going note note uh, one by one like for example this is f after f there will be g so the line is f the space would be g the line would be a after g there will be a and the space would be b and again the line would be C, so F, G, A, B, C, F, G, A, B, C, and so on, you can add. Or you can also think like this is, this is F, the line, the, la, the upper line, so this formula, same formula, F, A, C, E, this was in space, and now it will be on the line, so because this line is F, then the other line will be A, C, E, face, either way you can think about it. But anyway, now let's not go up at the moment, let's, let's stay to the five lines because if you understand if you get the grasp of this uh, or if you can grab the five lines then you can you can go down or go up easily because just just line and remember C D E F G A B C so like in piano C D E F G so E line then F space G A B C D E F G A B C and so on so in treble clef these are the names of the line and space. Every good boy does fine, F-A-C-E. And if you see a note uh, uh, lying on this first line, or something like this, if you see something like this, then you know it's E note, so you are supposed to play E note, okay? So this is for a treble clef. And for bass clef, uh, it's a little bit, little bit different. Okay, now if we keep the bass clef here for bass clef this is the bass clef the names would be G B D F A this is for bass clef this is for treble clef and this is for bass clef so bass clef would be basically the sign of bass clef is this and by the way uh, the treble clef is also known as G clef and this bass clef is also known as F clef all right there are different other clefs as well like I mentioned but we stick to this G and F and these are the most common common uh, clefs 
Um, so in F clef, the name of the lines are G, B, D, F, A. And how to remember is uh, um, good boy deserve fun always. Good boy deserve fun always. So from the initial good boy deserve fun always. Right. And let's talk about the space. Then there will be A, C, A, G. And this this is all cows eat grass. Kind of funny, but easy to remember. If you remember the the sentence, then it's easy to uh, remember the lines. So all cows eat grass, right? So yeah, so that's the that's the difference between uh, triple cliff and base cliff. So even in a bass clef, whenever you see the first line, if, if you see a <clears throat> note written in the first line, something like something like this, a quarter note like this, you know, something like this, then you know, okay, this is the first line, so that's a good boy, this is a fun always, so good, G, B, D, so you know those notes, <coughs> you know that those notes to play, sorry, <coughs> yeah. So this is the this is the um, names of uh, triple clef and bass clef. Uh, now before going further, um, uh, now there there are three other things that you should know after this to be able to read music, and those are time signature, key signature, and note value, note value or uh, a rhythm like these kind of notes. There are different kind of notes. So let's start with the, the note value or rhythm or the division. Okay, now you know the names of the lines and space in different clefs. Mm, now it's time to uh, know about the notes. Those lines and space gives you which note to play, but the, the time value would give you how long to play those notes. Like for example, there are different notes like this is the, if you see a dot circle, I mean if you see circle like this, that's a, uh, it's the whole note. Whole note. Whole note uh, means it takes uh, four counts. If, uh, if a rhythm would be like one, two, three, four. So if you see that note, it takes this whole four count. Da, right. So it takes four counts, one, two, three, four. And if you divide this a whole note, and if you see something like this, same, but it has kind of legs or whatever you call it, something like this, then this is a half note. So half note means half of this. It takes two counts, so one, two, two counts. And that's a half note. Basically what we are doing is like we are dividing, let's say if this would be a big circle, then this would be that circle, whole note, and we are just dividing this circle in half. So now this becomes one half, okay? And then even further, even let's divide even this half note. If it's the same kind of, but this kind of dot. Then it's a, this is a quarter note. Why quarter note? Is because this is the half of the half of a big circle. So now this means we even divide it, even half like this. So quarter, 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 one quarter. Uh, quarter would be four, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So four one fourth makes a big one. So that means four of these would make four count this, right? Or two of this would make this. So because this is this this is half of this and this is half of this. So this takes only one count and that's the quarter note. 
quarter, not we, quarter, quarter, one fourth, right? And if we even divide this uh, quarter note, uh, you would get something like this same, but now it has a flag on it, right? So this it, this takes even half of this count. So altogether, what we have is like four counts: one, two, three, four. Those are four counts, and this was one count: two, three, four half of one count so which means we even divide this fourth to equal half so this would be eight so this is the eighth note so eighth note which takes the half of this half count half count and even if we divide this we get uh, 16 notes in 16th note you will see like two flags two flags 16th you know and which would be even shorter than this so this is the longest note half note shorter than this quarter note shorter than this uh, eighth note shorter than this 16th shorter than this and you can even divide more and more like we just did now we uh, quarter we divide and we got eight eight we divide we got 16 so if we if we even divide this you get 16th okay so you can divide the notes and this give, this will tell you how long um, to play any notes right for example uh, let's try with this if you see like uh, um, any notes um, with the uh, whole note. So let's say if you say G, G note. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's how you play. And if you see half note, one, two, one, two, three, four. Right? It's only two. Even if there's a like four counts, you play one here and one here, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, because it's taking two count each note. And this would be uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, right? So if you see uh, four of these quarter notes, like this somewhere, then you play in a bar like this, then you would you would play one sorry one two three four one two three four that's how you play and same with the eighth note eighth note is even shorter than quarter note so it's just like half one two three four one two three four one Two, like that, like one, two, three, four, bam, right? So, bam. This sounds like quarter note, but quarter note, quarter note is longer than eighth notes. So quarter note would be one, half note would be, right? And sixth note is even shorter than that, but let's not go to sixth note yet. And all those, re all those, uh, notes you will see like like this is a treble cliff you see treble cliff here and all those notes are here you know these notes and same with the bass cliff what i just explained so this is this is a bass cliff you see this is a bass cliff here bass cliff here and there are notes right so that's how you play. And actually, in piano, in piano usually treble cliff and bass cliff. You can you can uh, see both together. Like for example, this is written for piano. So you see treble cliff and bass cliff both. Bass cliff is usually played by left hand, and treble cliff is usually played by right hand. So you see both, and there are notes. There are quarter notes. 
So that's the note value. Uh, let me explain this a little bit more. So let me explain this a little bit more because it's important to understand the division. So that was the whole note, which takes four. That was the half, which takes two. So, so two of these would make this, right? It's a small, simple mathematics. So because this is a whole, it takes whole note, it takes four count and this takes two count. So two plus two would be four. Right, and then even if we divide what we had here, like uh, quarter notes, which was like this, which we even divided, so quarter note, two quarter notes would be one half notes, right? And even if we divide this one, eighth note, two eighth notes would be one quarter note. And same as this, if we even divide that to 16th note would be 1 8th note. All right, yeah, but you get you, you will get familiar as, as you start to read, and then you will get familiar with this. Okay, now you know about the note value, quarter note, whole note, six, uh, eight note, sixteen note. Now it's time to dig into time signature. So what is time signature? Time signature will give you the information about time, what kind of time any uh, music has. If it is four by four or three by four or six by eight or twelve by eight or uh, you know there are many. Uh, there are many like uh, two by four or four by four or six by eight or twelve by eight and so on um, seven by eight or seven by four or you know which you see in any uh, given notations uh, like this here in front you see a number three four you know like this so that means uh, uh, time signature like then I have it here you see here four by four so this music is uh, on four by four meaning each bar has four counts like uh, so if you see something like this and you see four by four here that means each bar each bar means okay there are two bars first bar second bar okay these are the rooms where you write music the upper number in four by four the numerator will tell you how many counts each bar has this is four bar four uh, four by four so in each bar there will be one two three four one two, three, four. So there will be four counts in each bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on. And the number below, the denominator, uh, will tell you which note uh, will get one count. This you can break down as uh, one by four into four. Small uh, mathematics, right? So this is one by four. So this number on the top will tell you how many counts uh, each bar has, and this one will tell you which uh, note will get one count. So this is one by four, quarter. So quarter note will get one count. That means, that means there will be four quarter notes, all right? That's the max uh, this bar can have. That's the maximum number of notes this bar can have so there will be uh, there will be place for only four quarter notes because this is four by four one two three four quarter notes and of course you can break these uh, quarter notes into eighth notes you can write like so this is two eighth notes and you can keep the rest however you you want to 
keep you know that depends on the melody but anyway uh, the point here is to uh, uh, know that the time signature uh, will give you the information about uh, how many counts each bar has and which note will get one count right for example, 4x4. Four four. Same thing in 3x4. If there would be 3x4, there will be only 3 notes maximum, so there will be only place for 3 notes, and quarter note will get uh, 1 count. And now let's move on to uh, key signature. Uh, the one that we did was time signature and key signature. Well, key signature, again, uh, <clears throat> in many music seats, you will see, again, in the front, near the time signature or near this cliff sign you will see those uh, flats now here in this one there are a lot of flats uh, in front in some <clears throat> in some music there might be there might be sharps uh, sharps in front uh, something like this you know you see one sharp one sharp here in front you know there might be many sharps as well or many flats as well, like this one has. So that is the key signature. Uh, key signature will tell you which notes to play sharp and which notes to play flat. Like for example, just like I just showed you, um, sometimes you see you know a sharp like this, one sharp, or sometimes you see many sharps like this. There are three sharps. Um, this will tell you that all these notes uh, you have to play sharp or if there are flats then all those notes you are supposed to play flat um, for example this is this there is a sharp on fifth line so one two three four five fifth line so what is the name of this fifth line this is treble cliff fifth line every good boy does fine so f so if you see on the way uh, in the chart any f note you are supposed to play F sharp, not F natural. Okay. Same thing with this. This is this is uh, in the space. This sharp. So first, second, third space. F A C. Right. This is a C note. You know. So C note you are supposed to play sharp. And same with this. What is the what is this note? This is uh, above this fifth line. So fifth line would be F, and after F there would be G. So that's G. So you are supposed to play. Uh, all the G sharps unless it's written natural okay but that's again different thing so as long as you see sharps and flat in the key signature you are supposed to play those notes sharps or flat and this is uh, key signature key signature uh, also give you the information about uh, which uh, scale it belongs to like for example G major scale has one sharp which is F so if you see F sharp uh, in the in the key signature, that means it belongs to in the key it belongs to the key G. Uh, same as um, let's say in D major scale. In D major scale, there are two sharps, uh, F sharp and C sharp. So if you see two sharps in the key signature, then you you know that it's it's a D major scale. And another example is uh, let's say A. A major scale. In A major scale, there are three sharps: uh, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So if you see three sharps there, that means it's A major key. Mm. <clears throat> I made I have made another video about the some theory as well, and there I have explained <clears throat> about key signatures and sharps and uh, other stuffs as well. So you might want to check that video out as well. Uh, so yeah, for this video, basically for staff notation, introduction to staff notation and reading, uh, we covered um, the names of the lines, staffs, lines and space, uh, treble cliff and bass cliff, and key signature, time signature, and the note value, the division. So these would be the starting point for you to get into the reading and of course writing, writing as well. So if you like this video or if you find this video helpful, please remember to subscribe my channel and press the like button as well and also remember to check out my other lesson videos and playing videos as well as well. So this much for this uh, staff notation introduction to staff notation video uh, we see in the next lesson.
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.